Hello Columbia and welcome to This Week in the City. Highlights brought to you from the Public Relations, Media and Marketing Department with the City of Columbia. I am your host, Felicia Yutzi. Hello Columbia, we're starting off This Week in the City on a very busy note. On Monday, March 14th, Columbia Animal Services will kick off their pet adoption special in honor of St. Patrick's Day from March 14th through March 19th. Columbia Animal Services will host an adoption special. All pet adoptions will be $17 from March 14th through the 19th at Columbia Animal Services, located at 127 Humane Lane. If you would like more details, visit our website at columbiasc.gov or you may call Animal Services at 803-776-PETS, that's P-E-T-S. The Bike Pedestrian Advisory Committee will meet on Monday, March 14th, starting at 4.30 p.m. at the Main Richland Library, located on Assembly Street. For details, visit our website at ColumbiaSC.gov. On Tuesday, March 15th, join Chief Skip Holbrook and the Columbia Police Department as they partner with Benedict College for an anti-gun violence walk. The walk will be held on the campus of Benedict College starting at the Swinton Center at 11 a.m. Also on Tuesday, March 15th, Columbia City Council will hold a meeting starting at 4 p.m. in Council Chambers at City Hall, located at 1737 Main Street. For agenda items, please visit our website at columbiasc.gov. This meeting will be a hybrid meeting, which means that you can actually attend in person, or you may watch the meeting via live stream on our website and the city's YouTube channel. The Columbia Parks and Recreation Department, along with Mayor Daniel Rickerman and city council members, will be holding a ribbon cutting ceremony on March 16th, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Please join Mayor Daniel Rickerman, members of City Council, and the Parks and Recreation Department as they announce and celebrate the conversion of three tennis courts into six pickleball courts on Wednesday, March 16th at 12 p.m. at 951 Hazelwood Road. The new courts will accommodate more use of the park and it will also provide a positive impact for the citizens of Columbia. If you have questions about this new amenity, please call Parks and Recreation at 545-3100. On Thursday, March 17th, the Design Development Review Commission will meet at 4 p.m. at City Hall in Council Chambers. This meeting will be a hybrid, which means that you can actually attend in person, but also, if you would like, you may choose to view the meeting via live stream on the city's website at columbiac.gov or the YouTube channel for the City of Columbia. Also, for those seeking agenda items, please visit our website at columbiasc.gov. St. Patrick's Day is back, live and in person, in Five Points. St. Pat's in Five Points is back. Mayor Daniel Rickerman will be the Grand Marshal of the parade this year, and City Council members will also participate in the parade on a float, as well as other local organizations. The parade kicks off at 10 a.m., which actually kicks off the day-long festival in Five Points. Please join us this year as the Five Points Association is glad to welcome the return of the St. Patrick's Day Festival back live and in person after two years of COVID, which actually canceled the festivities. Well, Columbia, that wraps up a very busy week here in the city please reach out to us at Public Relations Media and Marketing. If you need more details about any of these highlights or any other information regarding the City of Columbia, you may call us at 545-3020 or email us at pio at columbiasc.gov. And don't forget, 24-hour information is available on our website at columbiasc.gov and make sure that you are social with us by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all the latest information, news, and highlights from the city of Columbia.